The Premier League is back. What an incredible match week one it was. We had so many games that lived up to the hype and there were so many goals this past weekend in the Premier League. It is so good to have the Premier League back. There's a lot of talking points after match week one. And I'll be going through all the talking points from this past week's Premier League games. And today, I've got 10 things we learned from this Premier League weekend, Match Week 1. This will be a new series that will be starting on my video after every Premier League weekend once the games do end. I will be compiling all the talking points into one video and making a 10 things video. And we're going to go through all the talking points from the past week's Premier League games. So if you do like the sound of the new series and if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and make sure also click that bell button so you can be a part of the notification squad. Number 10. Arsenal's late winner. We're going to start off with the first game of the 2017-18 Premier League season. The opening game was Arsenal versus Leicester City. And late goals from Aaron Ramsey and Olivier Giroud earned Arsenal a comeback 4-3 win at the Emirates against Leicester City in a thrilling season opener. The new signing for Arsenal, Alexander Lacazette, did find the net with a header on his Premier League debut only two minutes into the game. Leicester City did find themselves 3-2 up, but like I said, Arsenal with two late goals to give themselves the win. Even though it wasn't a convincing win for Arsenal, it was good to see that they were able to tough it out. They were 1-0 up, then they did go down 3-2, and in the later stages of the game, they were able to come up 4-3 winners, and that is some very good news for Arsenal fans. Number 9. The old Jamie Vardy is back. When Leicester City did win the Premier League trophy, one man that did bring themselves that glory was Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy dominated the Premier League, scoring so many goals. And Jamie Vardy last season didn't really look up to it. But from this game at the Emirates, it is looking like we're going to get back the old Jamie Vardy. In my opinion, Vardy just wanted it a bit more in this game. And he played very well, picking up goals in the 29th and 56th minute. Even though Leicester didn't pick up the three points, it looks like we've got the old Jamie Vardy back who's ready to score goals for Leicester City. Number eight. Liverpool let it slip. Things didn't really go to plan for Liverpool on their first game of the Premier League season as they did take on Watford and they were 1-0 down after 8 minutes. Sadio Mane did bring it back to 1-1 and then not long after that, only 3 minutes later, Watford found themselves ahead again. But in the second half, Liverpool found some confidence and they were playing really, really well as they were awarded a penalty. Firmino picked up the goal and only two minutes later, Salah put Liverpool ahead and it looked like Liverpool were on their way to their first victory of the Premier League season. But in the 93rd minute from a corner, Watford picked up the equaliser to end the game 3-3. And if Liverpool want to challenge for the Premier League title this season and they want to finish top four yet again, they're going to need to pick up the wins against Watford when they are 3-2 up in their away games. Number 7. Fairy tale. Huddersfield played their first game in top flight English football in 45 years when they visited Southhurst Park to face Crystal Palace. And it was a fairy tale as Huddersfield went on to defeat Crystal Palace. 3-0. It was an incredible game for the club as everything went right for them, defeating Crystal Palace 3-0, who are looking like this Premier League season that they're going to be fighting to try and get out of the relegation zone. Everything went right for Huddersfield, and actually after that game, before the Manchester United and West Ham game, Huddersfield was sitting first on the Premier League table after that 3-0 win. Number 6. Rooney returns home. With me being a Manchester United fan, I was really heartbroken to see Wayne Rooney leave Old Trafford, leave Manchester United. But Rooney has returned to Everton, and in his first game back at the club, Everton recorded a 1-0 win to start their season at Goodison Park through a header from Wayne Rooney. Number 5. Solid City start. Manchester City took on Brighton and Hove Albion in their first game of this Premier League season and they notched up a solid 2-0 win. Sergio Aguero picked up Manchester City's first goal of the season by making it 1-0 and then not long after it was an own goal. Brighton and Hove Albion possibly this season in my opinion will be fighting for survival in the Premier League. Will they survive? That question will be answered throughout this season. Number 4. 
Spurs magic. Tottenham Hotspur just seemed to be getting better and better each season and they were hosted by Newcastle at St. James's Park in the first game of this season. It was a red card in the second half to Newcastle's captain, John Joe Shelby, that did lead Spurs to take a 1-0 lead. Dele Alli did pick up a goal and to make it 2-0 is Ben Davis who did pick up the second. And a solid start to Spurs' season. Number 3 a statement. There was a lot of talk of Manchester United before this Premier League season did begin, the signings that they've made, but it all worked out as Manchester United defeated West Ham 4-0. Lukaku picked up two goals on his proper debut for the club when it comes to real major competitions, while Anthony Martial and Pogba picked up goals for themselves. Surprising to see Javier Hernandez not really do much throughout the game, but a very, very good start to Manchester United who find themselves in the first position of the Premier League. Number two, upset for the ages. Chelsea, the defending Premier League champions, facing Burnley, a team who just escaped relegation last season. And it seems as though Chelsea have a curse. Whenever they do win the Premier League trophy, the next season, they seem to struggle. It happened a few years back and Chelsea found themselves 3-0 down at Stamford Bridge. Gary Cahill picked up a red card in the first 13 minutes and Burnley took full advantage. Burnley were 3-0 up a half time with Chelsea struggling to really make any chances during the first half. They brought on their new star signing, Alvaro Morata. Morata went on to pick up a goal and he also assisted David Luiz to make a 3-2, setting up some late drama, but Burnley held on to defeat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and a horrible start to Chelsea's title defence. And number one, signings make an impact. For the first weekend of the Premier League, it was the star signings that made an impact. Wayne Rooney, who left from Manchester United, obviously, to make the move to Everton. He scored the goal to win his side the game. Alvaro Morata got substituted on during the second half. He picked up a goal and also picked up an assist. Even though his team didn't win, he made an impact when he did come on. Romelu Lukaku had an incredible game, scoring two goals. Salah for Liverpool also picked up a goal. And Lacazette scored two minutes into the game against Leicester City, two minutes into the Premier League season. It was the star signings that made an impact in match week one of the Premier League. It was an incredible first weekend of the Premier League and let's hope the Premier League season just gets better and better from here. And the Premier League table looks like this. Manchester United in first position, Huddersfield Town in second, Manchester City and Spurs do round out the top four. We look down to the bottom in the relegation zone. Obviously, there's only been one game played. And sitting in the relegation zone isn't too troubling right now of the season. We've got West Ham United, Crystal Palace and Newcastle in the bottom three. Brighton, Stoke City just above it. And in mid-table, we've got Liverpool, Chelsea, Leicester City, Southampton. And that is how the first edition of 10 Things We Learned this Premier League weekend Match week one is going to end. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. What is going to happen this upcoming Premier League weekend? We're all going to have to wait and find out. And I'll see you all on my next video.